So just to give you an example, and you know, it's a trivial example I always use, is that when you see the first dog in, dog in your life, that's an episode, that's a personal experience. You see another dog, another dog, and another dog, and then the spatial temporal conditions, how the, 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 the experience occurred are not so important. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you generalize, you know, you, when the, a child sees a, 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 a lamb, he will say, oh, it's a dog because there is no distinctive feature. And then the other things, they disappear, and then it becomes a, a dogness, which becomes a explicit memory. Now, mm -hmm. the good news is that this is exactly how the other side of the, uh, of the field, spatial navigation works, because in order to generate a map, you have to have your own experiences. You have to visit every part of the world uh, and once you visited every part of the world, you can generate a map, you can draw a map with the advantage that now you can go from anywhere to anywhere else and taking routes that you have never taken. But first you have to do the ego part, mm -hmm. just like you have to do it with, with, with memory. 